sort of budget cir circumstances forced two teams to become one team and I went to that group and said we are going to have an evidence-based model but you're going to have input on what model we're going to yeah. choose and so um, the ownership that they got to have in the process mm -hmm. of selecting the model I think has, was really helpful as well. This was not something that was imposed on them. This was a model that they chose that um, I took to management, articulated the rationale why they wanted to use MDFT as their model and it, the administrative su administration supported it and we got to do the model they picked. So. Um, you know, it wasn't just pull it out of a hat. We actually looked at all the literature, the research, um, looked at our population. We wanted to find a model that was shown to be effective with the kinds of kids that we are serving uh, and families and the kinds of issues that, they, that our particular uh, population presented. And MDFT ended up being the model that they felt would have the best success with our population. But generally, I think that our implementation was easier than average, much easier than average, because of the prior experience with EBP and because they picked the model. I think that ownership is, is huge. And so I've never battled with any, you know, there's seven therapists and myself, never battled with any of them about um, questioning the model, um, feeling like, it, it, are being resistive to trying the interventions. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just, it was a given. And I think that was in large part because they selected the mm -hmm. model. They, they said, this is what we want to do. I went to administration on their behalf and pitched it, got the approval, and we've never looked back.